Hello there, you are listening to, or maybe you are watching from the new YouTube channel, Creative Calling Podcast. I am your host, Brianna Christine. And so many of you comment about how you like that I'm real when I come across on this show, both in what I share and how I share it. And I love to dress up for my YouTube channel because I love to do that for you guys and I love to do that for me. However, due to being gone for multiple weeks, traveling with my dad, which was fantastic, you can see that on my dance page at Breezy Dances, WCS, stands for West Coast Swing. You can see pictures from my trip there. And because of that delay and because I am so excited that I am now going into full-time ballroom dance teaching. going to save those details for later, but it just leaves me with like less and less time for all of my other projects. So, um, yeah, you can take this as me making excuses or you could just take it as, I like to be real. How about this? I just like to get you guys things on time. So however you want to take it, <laughs> here I am. I hope I can still serve you with the amount of time that I have left this week. So let's see. I am your creative business coach. I've been freelancing in design for nine years. I'm sort of tying that up and I am going into being a perpetual dancer. I've always really been a perpetual dancer. However, now as you can hear from my previous statement that I am going more into full-time dance teaching, also a little bit of management, but hey, let's not get too much caught up in the details there. I am here to make this podcast because I love sharing what I know. I'm not just a dance teacher. I'm a teacher of anything that I know because I just love looking up information. I love finding it and I love sharing it because uh, so many people, they don't like to read. They don't like to look it up. I don't know. I just have this gift where I like to do it. So <laughs> here I am. I also have a... Um, obsession with my own voice and being on camera so it's really helpful when you have a podcast and a YouTube channel I'm so excited for this so I'm just no <laughs> I'm just letting it all go today I feel like I have no formality today oh man you guys caught me on a good day so um let's see what we're here to talk about we are here oh I also wanted to mention I also would like to mention the webinar that I had on seasonal marketing. So some of you who follow me may know that I put up a webinar for the idea of fall marketing. If you didn't know about it, it's probably because you don't follow me on my Instagram page at Brianna, the number four creatives, or you don't follow me on Facebook, which you should do if you are interested in, in all of the things and all of the details and all of the tips that I shared in that way. Um, but basically, so if you're hearing about this for the first time, what it was is I decided to hold a webinar. Actually, it wasn't even my idea. It was Kate Lang's idea. Thank you, Kate. Uh, oh my God, I called her Kate again. Cat. <laughs> Uh, I feel like I might have done that on previous episodes. Kate is another friend of mine that's a designer. Not a good excuse, but hey. So I'm just rolling with it today. Um, not going to hit re-record just for that, but Kat Ling, who helped me with that. And she just, I the whole idea of seasonal marketing, which was her idea, I thought was fantastic. Because it's not something I'd ever talked about before, but I truly believed in what it was to have a seasonal marketing campaign. And I was hoping to bring that to as many people as I could in how do you do that through design and how do you do that through your messaging and how do you create a consistent campaign from that, from wherever you are in your business, whether you manage another business, whether you're starting your own blog. And it was a really great webinar. I, in the process of actually pitching the idea to several other creatives, we actually were able to collaborate and make an even better presentation than what I was hoping for when I first started the project. We were able to incorporate elements of music and elements of lighting. So I learned so much from this myself, just putting it together. And I was so glad to share it with everybody. And 
as always, I'm always experimenting with, okay, here's my messaging, um, here's my, uh, why I think you should buy it, I'm gonna message my friends, and I'm gonna follow up with friends, and I'm gonna ask for feedback, and I learned a lot, um, from the collaborator's point of view, I learned that I need to communicate more and get people on board. Uh, not that, interestingly, the collaborators had a lot of really great things to say, but there were some, you know, hiccups here. Uh, I don't know if you guys are listening to the podcast, but you all know I talked to you before. But there were some hiccups in, like, getting people on the webinar that believed that their market could benefit from that the information more than that they actually just believed in the content itself. So, um, yeah, I could go on about that, but there was a learning process there. The content was still great. Like I, uh, if you guys missed it, I'm really sorry. And I know most of you did because I'm just going to go right out and say it. You guys can't see how many people bought it, but I had one purchase from, the webinar, and I mentioned that not to be like, you know, I'm not sad about this. I thought that was great. I've never sold a webinar before, and I sold one. I don't know how many webinars you guys have tried to sell, but it's not an easy thing to do. It's not an easy thing to put together, especially when you're collaborating with multiple people and you're going to a separate location to film, and so many things about this webinar um, to have one person one purchase and it wasn't my mom it wasn't my friend it wasn't my dog um I don't have a dog but it wasn't anybody that um I have like an ongoing relationship with that I like text on a regular basis uh it was one of you one of my listeners and that is honestly the biggest win for me uh Matt, thank you so much for purchasing. I hope you don't mind if I'm sharing your name out here on the YouTube channel and, and on the podcast, but that was really fantastic to hear your feedback on it. And for those of you who didn't buy, uh, you wouldn't know unless you have bought, but I had planned in mind, this isn't something I share, I don't share all my secrets always up front, but something I had in mind for people who purchased both the book and the webinar that I was going to share 30 minutes of my time for free and consult and give a creative action plan to basically my most loyal customers. So it was really fantastic to set up that call with Matt and just really spend time on his objectives and his goals and how he could get there. And Matt, if you are listening, I would so much appreciate for you to comment on how you felt about that experience in the YouTube channel comments or in the podcast or on Facebook. I digress. Exciting things though. Let's talk about the activity for today, which is actually kind of close to a lot of the things I talked about with Matt, so I thought it was kind of neat. I love when that happens. All right, so today's activity, which is taken from Creative Calling Activity Book. This is the book that I made for creative entrepreneurs that are trying to take their projects or their businesses from start to finish. I say projects because a lot of times we have these big, big picture ideas and we can't break them down and we just work on too many things, uh, if you're anything like me. And how do you do it, Brianna? How do you accomplish things? Here, make, and I'm... I'm probably not going to tell you anything you don't already know. However, I'm going to tell you in a way that hopefully you hear it because it's coming from another creative that's done it. So if your tasks are um, a little too focused on the big picture, you've got the whole, you can see the whole puzzle, which is perfect. I, I uh, When I was traveling through Vermont, I kept saying, I feel like I'm in a puzzle because it's like pretty fall orange leaves and stuff. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, you're a little too focused on the big picture, prove to yourself that you can commit to a small project, I just say a project, but a small project by creating a specific, measurable, action-oriented, and relevant goal you can track over the next week. Um, basically a smart goal. Uh, yeah, I think I spelled it. Time... Time bound was, would be the last one. I didn't specifically spell it out for you there, but basically I'm saying set a SMART goal and do it. 
because similar to dancing, it's not that we don't have the knowledge, it's that we we don't practice what we need to do as creatives, as entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, the reason they make it is because they do the thing. They don't just go, well, I know what a SMART goal is. Like, tell me something I don't know, Brianna. I know you know what a SMART goal is. Do it. That's what this is. And that's why I make this, to remind you this is what you need to do. I do it. You can go along with me. You can see how it goes. I want to hear from you. I want to know how it's working for you, too. So, uh, basically what I tell you to do is take your main objective and reverse engineer it, break it down into small goals that you can achieve in the next week, or in this case, hold on, I have a sticky note here, the next, no, it is the next week, huh? how did I guess what I wrote? I have sticky notes here. Speaking of projects that I experimented with, this was for 30 days of my first draft. If you want to know how that one went, write me a message personally and I'll tell you my experience on that. But I really want to finish this activity so you guys can uh, get to know, so you can get to work. Get to work. All right. So this hour, that's right. I'm talking like immediate results, people. This hour, set a freaking goal. Um, today, set a goal for the, like, by the end of the today, 5 o'clock. Tomorrow, set something by midweek. Set something by next week. Now, theoretically, if this book was not 8 by 5 or whatever, something like that, I would have actually broken this down like my planner where like actually you plan out your whole like hours every day. And shout out to Ralph Thomas who made Sketch Planner. So if you're really looking for a planner, side break here, go look at his awesome Sketch Planner. Especially if you're one of my listeners who is still listening from the animation series. Go support Ralph. I love him. I still use his Sketch Wallet for my dance notes all the time. So, okay, set a goal for this hour, set a goal for today, set a goal for tomorrow, set a goal for next week, set a goal for midweek. I know I said that backwards. My point is be consistent about it and remember that this is something that you're proving to yourself. So the goal is to... It's sort of like a reward system. Like you make a goal, you set it, or you set a goal, you complete it. You set a goal, you complete it. And each time you do that, you're sort of building this positive relationship with yourself, positive momentum. It's getting you going. It's getting you going to the next thing. Every time you not succeed at a goal, but every time you set a goal and then do it, like I'm going to make a webinar and then I did it and then I'm going to sell the webinar and I did it this time, but didn't do it the first time that I experimented with this last month. It's not about whether or not I made the sale. It's I said I was going to make a webinar and I did it. That was the whole idea of seasonal marketing. You set a campaign objective for the next three months and then you do it. And then you see. And it's great because you have this time where you can say, did that work? What worked? What didn't work? What, what can we bring into winter and do differently? Do better? Keep doing. It's that, you know, so that's going into a little bit of the self-reflection, but the first step is setting the goal and doing it. So that's what I encourage you guys to do today. That is my message to you. I am so glad that you all joined me for this episode of the podcast or if you're on YouTube that you took the time to watch me talk about the Creative Calling Activity book. And I hope that you please, please set this, um, put this in your calendar to do now or tomorrow, but I always advocate for sooner the better. So um, that's all I have. Except if you like my page, all y'all who are subscribing and downloading, I can I can't, you know, I can't see who you are, but I know that you're there. 
And so if you have gotten anything out of this podcast, you can support by buying the book. It's a great way of, as Matt can attest to you, getting your business on track and getting your main objectives and your goals and your business completed. I mean, really, he's not the only one. Uh, If you guys think it's easy to convince 10 of your even best friends to leave you a review on Amazon, that's cute. Um, Try it. Uh, So the fact that I I think I'm up to 10 reviews on Creative Calling Activity Book on Amazon, and these are people who really truly use the book and send me pictures of them using the book and who follow up with me about particular activities and sometimes just quotes. I find that most of you guys just really like the quotes, which I love because that was my favorite part, but there is so much better, better, better stuff in here in Creative Calling Activity Book. Please, if you are a, my my point here is if you're a supporter of the podcast or the YouTube channel, buy the book. It's great stuff. It helps me produce the show, honestly. Like, just one book sale helps me produce the show for one month. Otherwise, it's just me paying for you guys to hear my voice. <laughs> um, so there's that. And then if you cannot, for some reason buy a $20 book that's going to change your life, then please comment, subscribe, share with your friends. I please ask you to do this. Um, Yeah, I'm just asking extra, extra assertively today. So of course, it's always up to you. Those of you who are on the podcast can't tell that I just gave the biggest, cheesiest smile on YouTube just now, but Guess you'll have to go to the YouTube channel to see it. All right, guys. I had so much fun recording this with you. I hope you guys have a great week. And until next time.